Hey everyone, welcome to Storytime with Andy. I'm glad you're reading along today. We are reading a Christmas book today. It is called The Berenstain Bears, The Joy of Giving. So as you can see, there's brother and sister bear right there. They've got presents for each other. And this book is all about how much fun it really is to give to others, to the world. And so it's just a great um, book to read at Christmas time. It reminds us of why we celebrate Christmas. So it's a beautiful book. Um, I don't know if you've ever picked out a really perfect present for someone else and you just get so excited. You can't wait for them to open it. You almost tell them about it because you're just so excited. That's what we're talking about here. Just that joy of giving, just being so excited to get something for someone who you thought about, you know, and you picked out something just for them to show that you love them. So we're going to be reading a book about the joy of giving. We're also going to be drawing. We're going to learn how to draw presents today. There's three of them right there and the tree, why not? Because it's a Christmas story. And before we get started, I wanna say a special hello to my friends Emerson and Emma H. in Shalote, North Carolina. Emerson and Emma are a brother and sister, and in this book, you'll see brother and sister bear. So that's why I wanted to say hi to you guys today, okay? All right, everybody, get your paper and pencil ready. We are going to learn about the joy of giving. Here we go. The Berenstain Bears and the Joy of Giving, written by Jan and Mike Berenstain. It was the week before Christmas and all over bear country, everyone was getting busy, getting ready for the big day. They were Christmas shopping and Christmas decorating and Christmas everything. Down at the chapel in the woods, the cubs of bear country were busy getting ready for their Christmas Eve play. It was the story of the first Christmas and brother and sister had an important role they were to be the camel of the three wise bears. Sister was the front end of the camel and brother brought up the rear. They thought it was the best costume ever. Mrs. Ursula, their Sunday school teacher, was directing. All right, wise bears, she called. Enter stage right. The three wise bears came on stage. They carried gifts and wore long robes, crowns, and fake beards. They followed the Christmas star made of foil-covered cardboard that hung above the stage. The first wise bear was played by Sammy Bruno, who had a loose front tooth that made it a little hard to understand. A thar, a thar, he cried. I see a thar. Mrs. Ursula sighed. Okay, camel, she called. You're on. Sister and brother followed three wise bears but it was hard to see out of the costume and sister accidentally knocked over a palm tree. The three wise bears tripped going down in a tangle. Oh dear, oh dear, said Mrs. Ursula. Will we ever be ready? Sorry, Mrs. Ursula, said sister, poking her head out. It's hard to see in there. I'll need to make your peepholes bigger, said Mrs. Ursula. That's enough for today, cubs. It's time to go home. So the cubs took off their costumes and went into the chilly evening air. Brrr, shivered sister. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Yeah, agreed brother, and looking that way too. The whole neighborhood was decorated for Christmas. Sister and brother walked home in the soft glow of many colored lights. The next day, the bear family went shopping. It was time for brother and sister to pick out a few special gifts. This year, they had two crisp $10 bills from Grizzly Gramps and Grand to spend on others. Of course, brother and sister hoped they would have some money left over for themselves. Sister was saving for a brand new Barbie doll, and brother wanted a special rubber band powered model airplane. Papa and Honey helped brother do his shopping while Mama went with sister. Brother picked out a Barbie doll outfit that he found on sale for sister and sister bought a small airplane model for brother. Each cost just a few dollars. Mama and Papa thought that maybe each cub should have spent more money on one another. What about the joy of giving? whispered Mama to Papa. It seems brother and sister only care about the joy of getting. True, agreed Papa, but let's not interfere. They'll learn about the joy of giving for themselves. Over the next few days, Christmas excitement in bear country grew and grew. Brother and sister could hardly wait. They were going to be a camel and get lots of presents too. 
play rehearsals went well, and Sister could see better out of the bigger peepholes, and everyone knew their lines. But it was still a little hard to understand Sammy Bruin. When Christmas Eve finally arrived, practically everyone in Bear Country jammed the chapel in the woods to see the Cubs perform. A hush fell as the curtain opened and the play began. First, the angel Gabriel came to Mary, telling her that she would give birth to Jesus. Then Joseph and Mary journeyed to Bethlehem, where the innkeeper gave them shelter in a stable. There, Mary gave birth to a tiny baby who was laid in a manger. An angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds, sharing the good news of Jesus' birth so they could go and worship the newborn king. And finally, the three wise bears and their faithful camel trooped on stage. The foil-covered Christmas star hung high above the stable, sparkling in the spotlight. A star, a star, I see a star, Sammy said clearly. His loose tooth had come out backstage. The three wise bears kneeled before Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. The shepherds and the angel joined them. Everyone bowed low before the tender baby. The three wise bears opened their treasures and gave Jesus their precious gifts. And the audience grew very still. Then someone in the back began to softly sing, Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. And the rest of the audience joined in near the end. Sleep in heavenly peace. Peeking out of the camel costume, tears came to sister and brother's eyes. It seems they had never understood the joy of giving until that moment. All the gifts of all the Christmases of all the years went back to those first gifts given to the tiny baby long ago. The Christmas Eve play was over and the audience cheered. Everyone felt the true spirit of Christmas had been with them that night. On Christmas morning, brother and sister led the family downstairs bright and early, but instead of heading to their own pile of presents, they went to their gifts for each other. Merry Christmas, they said, holding out their presents. From one end of the camel to the other, said brother. Thanks, laughed sister. You're a first-rate backup. Brother and sister were delighted with their gifts and gave each other big bear hugs. Honey opened her presents and brother and sister joined in. In the back of their minds, though, they were still thinking about the money they had left over from their shopping trip. Later that morning, the family went to the chapel in the woods for the Christmas Day service. A light snow covered the ground and all of bear country glistened in the sun. On the way, brother and sister noticed a group of bears playing Christmas carols. They were collecting money for the needy in a big black pot. Brother and sister looked at each other, dug into their pockets and dropped all of their money right into the pot. Mama and Papa smiled with pride. You know what the good book says, Mama told them. It is more blessed to give than to receive. We know, said brother. We receive an awful lot, so it's time we gave some of it back. Look, said sister, feeling in her pocket. I still have a quarter. Honey reached for it and sister put it in her hand. Then little Honey, holding on to Papa, toddled over to the big black pot and dropped the quarter in. The bears playing music paused. Merry Christmas, they all said. Merry Christmas, answered the bear family. The end. Oh my goodness, friends. I loved that book so much. I love talking about giving because it really does make you, um, it just kind of fills you up and makes you feel really good, right? And we saw brother and sister bear realizing how much joy it brought them to give. So we're not actually gonna draw a picture from the book today. We're gonna change it up a little bit. We are going to learn how to draw a present and a Christmas tree because Christmas is coming so soon, you guys. It's just a couple weeks away, right? So I'm gonna put this away, but we're gonna draw a present pretty similar to what you see brother and sister bear holding right here. So get your pens, paper, crayons, markers, whatever you like as we learn to draw a present and a Christmas tree, okay? You can probably see some of my pencil drawings already, um, but I'm gonna go over it in marker so that we can walk through the steps together. All right, let's go. We are going to draw a square. It's gonna be really easy, okay? So, 
a square has four sides, right? One, two, three, four. Look at that. We're so close to being done already. All right, so there's your present. We're gonna make the box a little bit bigger. So we're gonna come out a little bit and we're gonna make a skinny rectangle on top and that'll kind of show that there's a lid on our present, okay? So there's your box top. We are going to put a ribbon and a bow on it. So come about to the middle of your page right here and have one line coming down and another line coming down, all right? And then come to the middle. Oh, whoops, I should have gone all the way up, sorry. Um, come about to the middle of the top of this rectangle we drew and you're gonna draw one loop two loops, kind of like um, you're starting a rainbow. And then do the same on the other side, one loop, two loop. And then we're gonna come down here and make the rest of the bow, okay? So you can color that in, one line down, a zigzag, and you can color your bow in. You can color it uh, much prettier colors than I'm using. I'm just using black today just because it shows up really well and it lets you see it at home, okay? But you should make your present really colorful, really make it look really pretty, okay? So there's your present. Um, now that you know how to draw one, you can draw a bunch of them, but I'm gonna show you how to draw a really easy Christmas tree. And then when we're done, you can draw a bunch of presents all over the tree, okay? So Christmas tree, we're gonna start up here and we're just gonna be making a bunch of kind of zigzag movements like this, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, we're drawing, we're just here to have fun, okay? So kind of start way high up here if you want a tall tree. If you want a shorter tree, maybe start right around here, okay? I kind of want a tall tree. So I'm gonna start up here, go out, in, out, in, out, and every time you go out, you're going a little bit further out, okay? In, out, in, out, in, out. Look at that, okay? There's one side of our Christmas tree. Now, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Maybe yours runs off of the page a little bit. Just like that, there is a tree and we need something at the top of our tree. So, you can draw an angel, you can draw a star, you can draw a crown, you can draw a heart, you can draw, I don't know, whatever people put on the top of their tree. It's your tree, go nuts. Um, but I'm gonna draw a big old star for today, okay? And then, here's the fun part, you can decorate your tree. So you can draw um, some lights going on it, like this. You can make them colored or white. I know lots of people fight over whether or not they like colored or white lights, and I say, do both, it's fun, they're lights. Let's not take things so seriously. You can draw some ornaments on it, so you can draw um, kind of little ball shapes. You can draw heart shapes, you can draw gingerbread shapes, you can draw anything you want, okay? And then like I said, you can draw some more presents down here, right? A square, rectangle, line, one hump, two hump, one hump, two hump. Like that. So you can fill this page up with presents and they look really neat. Have a bunch of different sizes. You can do different shapes. So if you wanted to do a different shape, you could do a long present, right? You could do a rectangle, but you do it the same way. Just kind of draw a longer rectangle on top. Draw the ribbon right there. One hump, two hump. Once you get the basic idea down for how to draw these presents, you can really go nuts and kinda make any present size shape you want, okay? And that is our gift and our tree. And we're gonna write the title of the book so that we remember um, what it was about. And this is called The Joy of Giving. T H E J O Y O, F, G, I, B, I, N, G. The joy of giving. Great job, everybody. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that book. 
I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw a Christmas tree and presents. I can't wait to see those pictures. You can always have your mom or dad put them on Facebook or Instagram so I can check them out. I'd love to see your artwork. I hope you really enjoyed that book. I love any book that kind of gets us in the spirit of Christmas. It's about generosity. It's about being thankful for the best gift we've ever been given. Um, and so I really hope that put you in the Christmas spirit. And I hope it kind of made you think about what you're excited to give this Christmas, all right? Okay, everybody, thank you for tuning in, and as always, stay well and keep reading. Bye.